Hi guys, so a big part to circular functions is remembering our trig exact values. And that's something I'm gonna show you a tip for today. So we've got a table here, and when I did my Saxon exams, I would always remember my exact values as a part of this table and filling it in. So how we start out, we start out with sine. And we have a little pattern to remembering sine, and that is the values of sine are gonna be root zero on two, root one on two, root two on two, root 3 on 2, and root 4 on 2. And basically when we simplify these, we see our exact values. The first one is going to be 0, the next one is going to be 1 half, the next one is 1 on root 2, next one it just stays as root 3 on 2, and finally we get 1. Now that's how I remember sine. Now cos is basically the reverse of sine. So we start out with 1, then we have root 3 on 2, then 1 on root 2, then one half, then zero. Now 10 is a bit different. How I remember 10 is kind of an unconventional way, but the way I do it worked for me. For the first tan value, when the angle is zero, we have sine on cos, zero on one. So zero on one is just gonna be zero. Then I, you just have to remember the next value as being one on root three, then the next one's one, and the next one's root three. So we have one on root three here, and then it's sort of like one on root three. And that's how I remembered it. Then finally, we have 10 of pi on two, which is undefined because 10 is sine on cos, one over zero is undefined. So that's how we remember our trig exact values. Hopefully this helps you in your methods three, four study. Thank you.